Rubberman. In just a few moments, he could win over $55,000 today on Scrabble. A nine-letter word. The clue is a man can get attached to it. This is a crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. everybody and welcome to Scrabble, a brand new television version of the game you've been playing all your life, just like Jay says. We got a Scrabble French champion, if you haven't been watching, it's been very, very exciting. He's doing extremely well. Nine wins under his belt. Mark Dobelman. Mark, come on out. Nice to see you again today, Mark. Uh, you know, if people haven't been watching, nine days in a row you have won, or pardon me, nine Scrabble sprints in a row you have won, mm -hmm. uh, to the tune of now $34,000. That's what you have today. As advertised, mm -hmm. you'll be uh, going for, I guess the total will be over $55,000. Today's Scrabble sprint round, when we stand up and you go for those last three words, will be worth to you $21,500, I think, mm -hmm. as opposed to just $1,500. So I'll be a little stressful at this time. She's nervous, too. Yeah, do you feel okay, really? I mean, what do you feel like? I've got a hand. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm excited, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, good luck to you, Mark. You're going to be playing the winner of this next match. I know. Good luck to you. Thank you. Wait back there. Jay Stewart, introduce everybody to us, and let's get on the way. He walks in front of a lot of Romanians. He walks a lot of soccer spaniels. From Los Angeles, California, Andrew Carruthers. And originally from Littlefield, Texas, Jenny Pierce. Welcome back to both of you, Andrew and Jenny. Listen, uh, just to catch everybody else, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Andrew, again, if you will. Uh, well, I'm a junior at UCLA this year, and I worked in the opening ceremonies for the uh, LA Olympics. Yeah. Okay, and Jenny? And uh, we just recently moved from El Paso, Texas, about four months ago. So this is new territory for me. Welcome to La La Land. Thank you. LA, <laughs> Listen, we're going to play some Scrabble here. We're going to play until somebody gets three words right, and that player goes on to our Scrabble print and a chance at more than $40,000. As we left off yesterday, Jenny was ahead two, and uh, Andrew had one, so it's two to one. Take a look at the board as we set up for our first game. And Andrew, we'll be starting with you this time. We're going to be building on the letter E in mermaid. There's six letters in this word. The clue is they're revolting. They're revolting. You have any idea what it might be? No. I'll take a couple of The rest of the letters uh, uh, in that word are scrambled and controlled by the number of tiles between you. See, I have to spit that out before you do it. Okay, Andrew, go for it. Um... Eight, and number four. All right, number four is an R, L and an R. Which do you want to try? I'd like to try the R, please. Try the R. First position, they're revolting. Let's go, let's go with the L. Okay, try the L. Yeah, falls in there. They're revolting, Andrew. Mm -hmm. Andrew doesn't say anything, he just moves. <laughs> Take it two more times. Number seven. Each game's worth $500. And number two. All right, a W and a V. They're revolting, Mr. Clear? Yes. Okay, uh, let's go with the W. Try the W. First stopper. And by the way, I'll remind the people at home who perhaps haven't watched this before, each one of the words has three stoppers in it. Uh, those are letters that don't belong in the word at all. Every time you hit one of those, you lose your turn. It passes over to Jenny. Jenny. You can answer this for $500 in the win, or you can uh, play. They're revolting. Rebels. That's it. You got it. Rebels. Tell you what that means to you in a minute, Andrew. It's a nice try. You never really quite got off the ground. Or she just rolled right over you. Get some nice party gifts for you. Thank there, you very Andrew. much. Come on down, Jenny. $500 for you, and uh, going to give you a chance to become the spoiler. I know that's probably not... Well, who knows? You're going to have a chance of $1,500 for yourself and a chance to spoil Mark Dobelman's uh, chances for all that money. Think you can do it? Good He's awful good. Yeah, you were good too. We're going to go over here and play Scrabble Sprint. We'll be back to do that right after this commercial. Come with me. Okay, we're going to play Scrabble Sprint here with our champion, Mark Dobelman. Mark's got nine wins, total of $34,000. It's very difficult, Mark, not to... Uh, emphasize how important this is for the home audience and yet at the same time i feel like i'm going to make you real nervous and, and perhaps do badly but i but i need to say that uh, mark will be playing this this particular scrabble sprint 
for $21,500, which is uh, a lot of money. And I know it's probably a lot of pressure, but I'm sure you did well. You always have done well. His, uh, his challenge is Jenny, Jenny Pierce, and Jenny's done very, very well. She's got $500. I brought her here. $1,500 is what they actually both will be competing for. Mark, as I said before, $21,500. And each of you will play three words. Best time obviously wins. Jenny, you get a chance between the pink and the blue. The pink, please. She's going to take the blue, or the pink. That'll leave the blue for you, Mark. I want to remind you to hit your plunger before you give me your answer, Jenny, because that stops the clock. Okay. okay, the answer will not stop the clock. There are no stoppers in any of these words. The clock will start when we pop in the first two letters at the bottom of the screen, Jenny. First word. Six letters in this word. The clue is, it's in the air. Ready? Go. X, G, oxygen. Oxygen, yes. The minute you hit that X, boy, that's a heck of help. Second word. Seven letters in this word. The clue is, they can crash. Ready? Go. R, S, M. They can crash. K, A, they can crash. T, market. Market's exactly right. 9.8 seconds. Third word, eight letters in this word. Some people do it the long way. Ready? Go. O, D. Some people do it the long I, way. Uh, in division. Division is right, 17.2. Boy, I tell you. She made a pretty good choice for that train card. I think so. Yeah, I don't know. This is gonna, you're going to have to work hard for this. You make it tough on me, huh? Yeah, for 21 grand, this had to be the toughie, right? It naturally would be. Well, just look at it this way. If you had the toughie two days ago and you lost, you wouldn't have gotten this far. That's right. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Clock will start. We pop in the first two letters at the bottom of the screen. We're going to count backwards. You must get all three of these before the clock hits zero. Yes, sir. First word, six letters in this word. He has a head for figures. Ready? Yes. Go. E. R. He has a head for figures. A. F. He has a head for figures. E. He has a head for figures. Right. Hefner. Hefner is exactly right. Hugh Hefner. He has a head for figures. Thank you. That's a good one. You stopped that and took a chance. 8.6 seconds for two words. Tough. Here we go. Seven letters in this second word. It's the least you can do. Ready? Go. Nothing. Nothing is exactly right. Fantastic. Unbelievable. That's great. Whoa! You actually hit the plunger before any of the any of the letters came up, so you stopped the clock before it ever got started. No time to duck this and that. That's incredible. You obviously got that from the clue. I've got a good. shot. It's a slight one. You have a shot. shot. Third word. Eight letters in this word. The clue is you can get a rise out of them. Ready? Ready. Go. F. B. T. You can get a rise out of. I. Biscuit, biscuit, biscuit! Oh, it's very well! Oh, it's very well! Oh, it's very well! Oh, it's very well! Whoa! 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 Hey, uh, Jenny, you certainly have nothing to be ashamed of. I'll tell you that. $500 you have. He has been up against some of the best people I have ever seen, and you are included. I think you had the, uh, the lowest time of anyone he's ever challenged on those last three. The thing that saved him was that second one getting it from the clue. You got one from the clue, too, as well, though. You didn't pop in quite as quick, but uh, you got it very well. $500, thank you, honey, for being on the show. And you're terrific. You've been a, you would have been a champion any other time, I'm sure. Oh, that's funny, huh? It is exciting. I mean, you get nervous. We, well, you, we've spent a lot of time together here because we've been here so long. Uh, ten wins. Ten wins. I'm uh, very, very, very happy to give you $1,500 for that. I'll take it. We're going to add that to your $34,000. That'll give you $35,500. Then I'm happy to give you a bonus of $20,000 for an extra five in a row. Whoa. <laughs> Your total is $55,500, and I am very pleased for you. Sir. Thank you, Sam. Very pleased, Mark. Thank you, sir.
guess that ties you up. We have two people that were retired now at the 55,000 mark, uh, and uh, you're one of them. So you certainly have a lot to be proud of. I, I just going back, I'm telling you, I've seen a lot of people play this game. You are so fast. Oh, my God. I mean, you had some very, very tough competitors up here with with times under 20, sometimes under uh, 17, and just did very, very well. You met every challenge every time. I tried. <laughs> Congratulations. You're retired now with a whole lot of money. We're going to take a commercial and come back in just a minute. Stay with us. Boy. That was incredible. What an unbelievable. If you live in Los Angeles or plan to visit the L.A. area and you'd like to be a contestant on Scrabble, please call area code 213-277-0348. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Woolery. Every day. Well, I love to give that money away. That is so, that's more fun for me. Well, it's not more fun for me, but it's fun. We got two new people trying to move in some money, and Jay Stewart's going to introduce them to us. He wants to bike through France. He had to hitchhike to his honeymoon. From Palmdale, California, Audrey Winters. And from Inglewood, California, Ron Parrott. Ah, welcome to both of you. Yeah. See how much money you can win? Wow. Hi, Audrey. Hi. How are you? Okay. Have how you, are you ever been to southern France? No, I haven't. But I'm uh, south of France bound one of these days. Oh, let me tell you something. You will have the best. It is so beautiful. I, I've been there twice and would go back today. Oh, I'm envious. And surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really would. It's wonderful. You'll enjoy yourself. Yeah, nice to have you on the show. Thank you. Good luck to you. Hi, Ron. How you doing? Sir? I love this, Ron. This is great. His, his wife, uh, a couple of little things on the card. His wife's expecting a baby. I got that. It says, when he got married, the limo didn't show up after wedding. Okay? So he had to hitchhike to the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, Chuck. What actually happened was, by the time we realized the limousine wasn't showing up, we also found out that my mother-in-law had taken my car, so we were left stranded at the church. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Nice to have you with us. Who won the toss back stage, by the way? I did. You did, Audrey? Okay, let's play with you. First, then we're going to go to the board and play some Scrabble. Okay, Audrey, we're going to be building on the letter E this time. Nine letters in this word. The clue is, they're not serious. Want to uh, guess? You want to play? No, I'll play, Chuck. Okay, take a couple of tiles. Tile number 10, and tile number 4. Okay, you have an M and an N. Which would you like to try? I'll take the N. Try the N first. Falls right in there. They're not serious. I'll try, I'll take the N. Okay. They're not serious. No idea? I'll take two more tiles. Okay, two more tiles. Three stoppers out. Tile number 8. And tile number two. And an O. A D. Try the D. Falls right in there. They're not serious. I'll take the O. Okay. Four in a row. They're not serious. Two more tiles. Okay, having a tough time. <laughs> tile number seven. An A. And tile number three. <laughs> you seem a little reluctant with tile number oh, three. Yes. An A and a C. Which would you like to try? Um, C. Try the C first. They're not serious. Comedian. Comedian. Is that a girl? Yeah. I think uh, Ron had that a long time ago. You were way ahead on that one. I watched you. Yeah. That's one right. I want to remind you all it takes three to win the game. Okay? Okay, Ron, let's go to the board with you this time. Give you the first shot at it. Building on the letter I in comedians, there's seven letters in this word, Ron. Clue is, it just isn't true. You want to guess or you want to play? I'll go ahead and play, Chuck. Okay, take a couple of tiles. I'd like number four. And number five. Okay, you have an N and a C. Which would you like to try? Uh, I'll try the C, Chuck. Try the C first. Just isn't true. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll try the N, please, Chuck. Okay. Last position in the word. It just isn't true, Ron. Fiction. Fiction. That's the way, yeah. Tied it up. Good for you. All tied up, Ron, since you won the last one. We'll start this one with Audrey. Turn about. Let's go to the board. Building on the letter T in fiction, Audrey. Eight letters in this word. The clue is, you won't see them after dark. 
You want to guess or you want to play? Play. Okay, here we go. Take your tiles, seven and uh, number six. Have an N and an O. What is the uh, clue? You won't see them after dark is the clue. O? Try the O. You also won't see O's in the morning. You won't see them after first stopper. Okay, Ron, goes to you. Want to guess it? You won't see them after dark or you can play? Uh, I think I better play, Scott. Okay. Uh, I'd like number three and number eight. No, 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 just number three. You can't have number eight yet. Okay? Okay. Which one do you want to try, the N or the A? I think I better try the N. Try the N first. You pick it. Good. You won't see them after dark. Ron? Okay, Chuck, I like the A then. Try the A. Falls right in there. You won't see them after dark, Ron. No guess, Chuck. Take a couple more tiles. I like number four. Number four. And number one. Number one. Have an F and you have an E. Okay, I'll try the E, Chuck, please. Try the E. You won't see them after dark. Okay, I like the S, Chuck. All right. You won't see them after dark, Ron. No guess. Still Chuck. don't know. Two, uh, two stoppers still out. Okay, Chuck, I like the five. And I'll take the eight. Five and the eight. You have an I and an M. I like the M, please. Try the M. You won't see them after dark, Ron. You won't see matinee. That's right. Yes. It only takes place in the afternoon. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a commercial break. Come back and finish this thing off in just a minute. Stay with us. Scores Ron two, Audrey one. Audrey, let's go to the board with you this time, okay? We're going to be building on the letter S in matinee. Seven letters in this word. The clue is they raise a lot of children. You can guess or play. I'll play. Okay. <laughs> Who's going to play? Tile number eight and tile number four. Eight and four. You have an M and an A. Which do you want to try? M, please. Try the M first. First stopper over to you, Ron. They raise a lot of children. I'd rather take a tile. Okay, take a tile. Here we go. I'd like number five, please. W and an A. Uh, I'll try the A, please. Try the A first. They raise a lot of children. Okay, I'll try the W, Chuck. Okay. They raise a lot of children. Okay, Chuck, I'm going to take a few more times. Okay. How about number six and lucky number seven? All right, two stoppers still out. Okay, I'd like the B, please. Try the B first. Oh. Third, second stopper, Audrey, to you. They raise a lot of children. You can guess, you can play. I'll, I'll take a tile. Okay. Tile number nine. Try number nine. Have an E and you have an F. Which do you want to try? An E. Try the E. They raise a lot of children. I'll play. Try the F. They raise a lot of children. Quickly, Audrey. I'll play. Three and one. I think Ron may know this. <laughs> okay, F and an E. Which do you want to try? F, please. Try the F. Third stopper. Ron, I think you may know this for the game and $500. Do you want to answer it? Do you want to play speed words? I'll answer it. I've been on a few myself. Seesaw. Seesaw, you're right. You got it. Audrey, didn't you get close? Audrey. Sorry. He was awfully good. He really was. You just had a tough time with him. That's a nice parting gift for you, huh? Thanks for being on the show. Come on down, Ron. $500. Going for $1,500. <laughs> I'm six two and a half. What happened here? I shrunk all of a sudden. Check the cowboy had we had boots and heels on here. Uh, see, we would normally play Scrabble Sprint right here, Ron. But you see, the problem is, is since we retired our champion, you're it. You can't play against yourself. So if you want to wait for us backstage, we're going to play another uh, round of uh, crossword, find another challenger for you, and then we'll play Scrabble Sprint. Okay. okay all right. Thanks uh, a lot. Uh, we'll be back right after this commercial and start a new game. Stay with us. I 
to talk to Mark again since he won all that money at the top of the show. And I, I've got to ask you this seemingly dumb question. What are you going to do with 55500 bucks? Well, i got a couple of things in mind, Chuck. For one thing, I've always wanted to increase the size of my master bedroom and put a fireplace in it, and I'm going to do that it. now. And then also, you know, I, it's a once-in-a-lifetime type of experience, and so I'm going to share it with my friends. I'm going to throw a Scrabble party and, <laughs> and, uh, and just have a good time. Can I come? Said, of course you can. I'm coming. Okay, you delighted. guys, we're going to go away. See you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> Some members of our studio audience have come to Potter Conventions over the Tuesday. They all saw the air fresh as an instantly makes your home fresh. One spray and you'll know the different sprays made. And advanced formula Centrum contains vitamins and minerals in the USRDA to supplement your daily diet. Centrum from A to Zinc, plus golden grain macaroni and shredded dinners. And rich double macaroni, cheddar cheese, and other natural flavors. Golden grain macaroni company. And bed sack, new in bed covering luxury upholstery for old mattresses or box springs and protection for new furnished by bed sack. Chuck Woolery's wardrobe, furnished by Pierre Cardin. Travel, starring Chuck Woolery, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game, and this is Jay Stewart speaking. Tonight, button up your overcoat, crush the cold war is on when Joe and Blair face off on the facts of life. And on Jennifer's left here, Joey finds his centerfold of Jennifer. Will his dad cash in on her assets? Then... I'm Tom Brokaw of the Republican National Convention. As President Reagan arrives in Dallas, the Republicans prepare to nominate him for re-election. Join me for a complete coverage tonight.